Once again, the gingerbread man started running, looking back at all those chasing him with a big grin on his face. A little way ahead was a big fat pig yeah, on. with its piglets. It's a big fat pig. It said, with the piglets, too. <laughs> I want to travel words with you. No, you don't. You want to make a meal of me. And that is not going to happen, you stinking thing. You stinking what? thing? How dare you? <laughs> now she's going to eat him for sure. You're the pig. You ain't going to catch me. I watched this before. Okay. See? Yep. And so the pig and piglets also joined the well, rest to try and catch the gingerbread man. Me. Hey, so chicken man. Chicken man. No, try to grab me. Try to grab me. Or chicken. Hey, try to grab me. When she grab saw me. the gingerbread man, she <laughs> said, <laughs> "You're too fast." So yummy. May I have a nibble? May I have a nibble? No, you may not. But you can always try. Come, join the merry procession. <laughs> Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, what a sight it oh, was. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it again. There was the old man and the old lady trundling along, the cow and the pig waddling along, the horse <laughs> galloping along, and the hen running and flapping her wings with a loud sound. Oh, here comes yeah, the cock. He's going to eat the There's gingerbread man. The coach is going to catch up with me. It holds it. I'll just yeah, slip around for some place to rest. Benny. Benny. Benny's really tired me out. A little farther away, there was a river flowing gently. The gingerbread man wanted to go across to the other side, but if he fell in the water, he would become all soggy. As he was thinking of what to do, he heard a voice. Want me to take you across? The gingerbread man looked around and saw a fox sitting against a rock. You think I'm a fool? You also want to eat me like the rest of them. Eat you? A measly looking fellow like you? You're not even enough as a starter. Forget a whole meal. <sighs> the fox eat you. was a very, very wily fellow. He knew the gingerbread man could run one? very fast, yeah. and he was too you lazy are. to run after him. Why would you want to be so good to me? I am not being good to you. I was going to cross the river anyway, so I thought you could hop on my back and I would take you across. Decide fast. I don't have the whole day. Mm -hmm. Okay. What would you want in exchange? I'll tell you that when we cross over. Come on, on my back. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna eat the gingerbread man, right? Yep. Is he? Mm -hmm. he yep, he is. What? No, not this part. Not this part. Not yet. He'll never the get me. Told the gingerbread man. I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable. I think it would be better if you perch yourself on my neck. The gingerbread man crawled onto the fox's neck. Ah, that's better. Is he gonna eat him yet? Nope. Not yet? Once he gets onto the nose, he'll try to snatch him, but he won't. This is her After sad. a while, the fox started moving its neck and told him, Oh! My neck has started feeding. I think it would be better if you sit on my snout. The gingerbread man thought he was very smart, but he couldn't guess what was going on in the cunning fox's mind. As before, it did what the fox what? told him this to. Is the part there. Where it is. Are you okay now? This was the chance the fox had been waiting for. As soon as the gingerbread man sat what on its snout, the fox quickly tossed him up and caught him in his Wait, mouth as he, he fell. Me? And there ended the tale of the gingerbread man. He tricked them. Uh -huh. ha, thought he was me. And Wait, that was we it. Try that again? 